tired. So, I think it's been about a week or two since I've re recorded, yeah, um, made a vlog video, and it was to say, hey, I'm still alive, still here, I'm at college, that's why I haven't been recording anything, and I'm mainly doing vlog videos from now on. It's no longer convention videos unless I go to... A convention specifically for like an art booth but that'd be the only time I do <clears throat> a convention anymore I think because I I did do it for fun and I would really love to go again but well I just cut myself off but anyway what I was saying was um the um probably the only reason I would go to a convention again is because um, I have prints that I would like to sell and I am trying to get better with digital art because that's kind of where, um, the future is going at this point. It's like, I love traditional art and I have something traditional I really want to sell and I might just sell the original copy itself. I might not even make it a print, but it's very small and it was on toned paper and it warped the paper because I used all this um, ink and colored pencils so I don't know what it would sell for but um, I don't know I might make it a print to sell I don't know um, depending on how it'll come out on Photoshop but yeah that'd be that would probably be the only reason why I would show up at a convention anymore is because I need to I need to be making booths. I need to be doing more art because if I'm ever going to be an illustrator, I need to get myself out there and yeah, that's the way to do it. Most of the time it's conventions and you do a lot of the fan art, but you also do some original stuff. It's good to have originals, but uh, a lot of people like the fan art stuff. So anyway, um, totally getting off the subject. I am almost done with finals. I've got my online Spanish portion of my final um, test and then I've got a final test in class next week on the 15th which I think is ridiculous because she knew it had to be scheduled at a certain time the professor and she didn't so she totally messed up and now I have to go in next week to go take the test but I did have an idea for that night um, I'm gonna try not to stay there that long. I'm hoping there's not over a hundred problems. I want to say she said 50 or over 50. So what's going to happen is if I can get it done on time and it's probably going to be zooming by because I know I'm not going to do good on it. I haven't been doing good in Spanish, <laughs> elementary Spanish. It's really sad, but, um, um, what will end up happening is when I get done, I'm going to attempt to go out by myself and go do some holiday Christmas shopping. I feel like that's one way to get it done and out of the way and without anybody being with me. So uh, I mainly have to shop for family now. So, so that's, yeah, I've got at least six people to shop for still. I did get one thing but I've kept that hidden and it's just one tiny little thing. That's not the only thing I'm going to get them. So the, their family is going to get at least two things this year from me because, you know, I get tired of giving them one thing and then, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is I give so much to friends and it makes me feel bad. So it's like I need to do really good this year for them. I'm sorry if I'm having a hard time talking, by the way. I've been having some serious breathing and, yeah, just breathing issues. And, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I really need to look it up. Um, Mom says it's stress. I don't know if it's stress because if it was, it would have gone away a long time ago. And it's still here. So I need to figure that out. So here's one thing I wanted to announce. Ta-da! It's done!
my comic book that I told you guys about is finally done. I, um, I got the, um, digital cover done. It's all digital because I didn't want it to be pencil. I didn't want it to be traditionally inked because my hand's very shaky and I really wanted it to look good. I wanted it to look legit in a way and it kind of looks legit. I mean, it doesn't have a logo here. Um, and I really, really love the back. If you see the original picture in the background right there, it's just so cool. I love that. And then she's right here as well. So I've seen it before. And it's and the entire comic is all handwritten. It's like it's hair. And then you've got the illustration story by me. And then you get the first page and then ta-da. And the story is not supposed to make sense. It's, you know, I mean, it's supposed to mainly look like a comic and I'm not going to, it's not for anybody to understand because they haven't seen my previous work or what I've been previously working on. But I didn't want to do a book binding project that I wasn't going to enjoy doing. And I feel like doing a comic book made me you know learn more digital um digital art stuff it made me want to do more digital artwork so uh, in the long run this comic made me realize that i do have the potential to do more digital work and i really need to i mean there is one page that ended up being really thick and it's because i didn't change the um size of the canvas the canvas size was 3,000 by 3,780, I think. And um, the resolution was 300. So it looks really good when it's printed. But this one, the size, I forgot to change it. So when I did change the side, everything turned out really, really thick. Um, but I think this is the only page I made the mistake of not changing the size. Everything else is fine. And then as the story progresses, the... Um, the boxes get thicker, and that's because a dramatic scene is happening. I love, I love that. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of myself. It's like when I went to the printing um, store, Staples. Um, they're not cheap, by the way. Um, I was so giddy when they were printing it out for me. I was like, oh, my God, yay, it's done. Oh, by the way, I had to cut this down because in order for it to look like a comic book the end pages had to go but you can see that I'm guessing the blade wasn't sharp enough I mean the pages were very thick these this is matte paper it's sh it's a little bit shiny but you still feel that papery texture but yeah this is a little preview um and it would be cool to publish this, but I had an even bigger idea for this comic and I just did not have the time for it. So the story had to change so that I could time manage it and get it done. So, yeah, it had a much bigger story plot and much darker too, but I did not have time to do it. So, but yeah. That's why it doesn't make too much sense. It only makes sense to me. And then I, I was told that we had to make an art statement. So um, some of that is explained in that. I tried not to explain about the story too much. But I had to explain the original story. Because in order for people to understand what I did. They're going to have to read that. So yeah. Yay, I'm so happy. Um, And yeah I have considered publishing my own comics but it, this is definitely gonna have to be revamped and I would like to start a web comic of this series so you know I've got to um, make it happen oh my god go away I don't mm. I know you people are probably annoyed with Windows 10 too you are not alone Oh, my Christmas tree. I finally put it over here. And yes, my bedroom looks like an art studio. So the video completely cut me off because my phone's storage got way too full. And I knew it was going to at some point. But, good lord. This phone could get really anal. Especially when it comes to photos. So if you get 
like over a hundred photos on your iPhone, you better be prepared to put them on your laptop or computer or whatever because uh, it just it can get really anal. I just I don't get it. oh Bailey. Uh, I just watched her newest video, her vlog, but yeah, I don't even remember what I was talking about after all that, but, um, I think I was talking about my Christmas tree and the fact that my room looks like an art studio right now, and it's because I've been too busy to, you know, clean them up. Um, all of these are books from, uh my table that I had that I keep my laptop on um I've been meaning to get a bookshelf to go right here it'll be like as tall as um hopefully to the ceiling because I have so many books and sketchbooks and I really need to put them away but yeah so that poor tv I haven't been watching it and my closet's doing a little bit better, but not too much. I've been trying to keep it organized, and there's a lot of clothing I need to get rid of, and there's my breakfast and comic, and um, and I really need to get my um my baby's crate out of the closet because that's where it's been all this time, because I just don't have enough space in the bedroom to do what I need to do. Um, that's what came with that. So. It's just been busy, busy, busy. Being a college student is very hard work, especially at a university. And these are my friend's presents. I did something different this year and got these cute little bags with donuts on them. So that way, when they want to go shopping, they can bring those with them. And I have a friend that shops a lot. So um, it would probably be beneficial to her if she brought something like that. That way it'd be easy her, for her to carry her stuff in. Um, and I've got my other friend too. And she has the dorms and all. Uh, I think she's going, my other friend, she's also going to go back to SCAD. Um from Savannah, Georgia, but, um, I think it would be beneficial to the both of them because they'll have to go to the store and, um, oh, whoops, <laughs> sneak peek of the gift, and, um, they'll have to get things and they'll probably walk all over the place, so this would be very helpful to them when they go back and, um, they have to carry something heavy and they just don't feel like driving or, going that far away or they if they have to those bags will help them so um but yeah that's their presents I did something different and I <laughs> I spent so much money on them I really did and part of me is like I shouldn't have spent that much because I've got family to deal with too and the fact that I haven't been I haven't seen them for so long and I've talked to them. It's just like uh, their interests have probably changed. They probably like different fashions and all. And I just hope that they appreciate what they got. I, based on what I've seen on their, their Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, I try to look at that. And then based on what I see or what I, what I sometimes see, I get. So, my one friend is really obsessed with this, um, this anime and this girl character in there. And I tried finding her all over the place. And I really wanted to get magical stuff for, magical girl stuff for her. And, um, that specific character. But I just couldn't find it anywhere. It's very rare to have anime stores around here in Florida. But, Luckily, Ultimate Mall had one, and um, apparently Oviedo Marketplace will have one too, so I have to go over there. Um, but yeah, and then there were things that I really wanted to get my one friend, and they were cute. They were little charmies and all, um, but it was at Hot Topic too because it was really cool, but they wanted an arm and a leg for it, so I was like, uh, no. I already got quite a bit for the both of them so I said screw it um this is what they get 
and they're gonna appreciate it anyways because thought counts you know like I even got them a bag that's you know that's that's quite a bit um but yeah you'll be there I am considering making them a card. I don't know about that yet. It depends on what time I'm making for myself because my mother stressed out a lot last night. I could tell we were both aggravated because we're both a little bit under stress. I mean, I'm not under stress because of school anymore, but it's still kind of there because tomorrow morning I have to go and turn in my book and then... Um, and then I have to deal with my other finals, but that's the least of my worries now. I can, you know, turn that in and I'm confident enough that I should get hopefully an A on that comic book. I'm praying. I worked very hard on it. That took me over 30 hours, I think, to do. That's a lot of work. Comic books are a lot of work. Now I understand where their stress comes from. These artists that makes these web comics and all. So, but yeah, um, I might devote time to make something a digital card for them, but it might be on a piece of paper, and that's it. Just some nice looking artwork for them. I might do like a character they might like, or something like that, or maybe some OCs but I because I haven't role played with them for so long I don't know what their interests are for role playing anymore I mean my one friend's still okay with fan trolls but then I have another friend that's mainly human or supernatural beings now she doesn't want to role play with fan trolls anymore and I wasn't okay with that at first but I got used to it so I was like yeah yeah I can deal. I can change. I haven't been role playing enough anyways. So it's like I can't complain about it anymore. Anyways. I still think about them though. I still think about one of my that friend's characters still. And I really want to role play with them. Or I want her to change them into humans or something. But it's like I'm not going to make her so she had a very hard time trying to change one of her characters that I really really like but it just didn't work out because she had a character that related to him too much and in order for her to like make that character work she had to change the other character to a certain degree and she didn't want to deal with that so it was odd for her to have two characters that had the same motives so she was like no I can't do this I'm sorry so I was like sad face <laughs> when will I ever see him again and then I've got my other friends um she has at least two or three OCs. She's got more than one, I mean, that she's been role-playing with. We've done Monster Girl stuff and Magical Girl stuff, but um, she's got um, this guy that I really like that one of my OCs likes a lot that came out weird, um, and she really likes him, And um, but we haven't been role playing as them for a long time and I think what I'm going to do gosh I got interrupted again um I had a root canal and they have to remove my temporary cap on here and they're gonna put the permanent one on but it's been hurting for some reason I'm guessing because I accidentally got food stuck in there I hope that's the only reason why but it hasn't been hurting for the last two weeks and all of a sudden it is. So I'm going to say there's probably some food in there. So pray for me, please. But yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about. I think it was presents and all, but, um, oh, it was role playing. But yeah, the goal is to role play with friends over the winter break. I haven't been really selfish lately and been doing for me for a while. I... For the first time in a long time, I finally got to buy things for myself. So I got myself a nice Christmas dress for when we do gift exchange for friends. And then um, I got myself a cute 
t-shirt. I love it so much. I'm going to have to wear it one day so I can show you guys. And then um, I got myself a, a really nice nail file. I love these because they have the, the shine option and buffers and all that. So I really like that. I love Forever 21 because they have so many options and they have bigger clothing for me. Yay. Oh. So, yeah. I've been unhealthy and I need to concentrate on getting healthier so I can fit nicer stuff and not have to look all over the place for bigger women places. But, I mean, I'm mainly doing it because of my health firstly. I mean, I can find some decent clothing still, even if I'm big, but uh, my health has to come first before my looks, so... I really need to do it for that reason because I have a doctor's appointment coming up and I know I'm going to get yelled at for being, for not losing weight yet. So yeah, I've tried. I'll, I can say that I've tried, but I have been failing miserably. It's the holidays, people. It's the holidays. So yeah, this video is over 20 minutes. So I think I'm going to cut it off here. I just wanted to get you guys um, caught up with what I've been doing. I've got more Christmas shopping to do. I don't know if I'm going to get any artwork done. I really want to. I want to at least attempt to finish my traditional print and then maybe um, go back to a drawing that I had, which is Sailor Peach, and try to work on her digitally and then um, get through the holidays and plan out what I'll be doing over next semester because uh, I've got... I'm. A full-time student now next semester so it's gonna be hard and I have three classes that are studio art classes so that's gonna be fun and then I've got Spanish too oh yay <laughs> Ooh, yep I'm losing breath so thanks guys for sticking around and for keeping in touch with me and I will do my best to make more videos because I have more to talk about and I like sharing what I've been doing and talking by myself all alone is you know boring so I like to talk to you guys so thank you for watching my videos and I will see you guys in a little while bye